Yo, 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 what's up, guys? Chris Tips One. How's everyone doing? Welcome to Live Vibe 75. Hope everyone is having a great Valentine's Day. I'm having a great day. If you guys are chilling, vibing with us tonight, happy Valentine's Day. And guess what? If you don't have a date, I'm your freaking date, dude. This is our date, and we're gonna vibe. So, today, what's the plan for today? Today, we're gonna do Would You Rather Dip Edition. And I'm thinking about making this an every Wednesday thing to do. Because obviously, right right before this live starts, I am mentoring kids at a juvenile detention center. And sometimes I barely make it. So let's do Wednesday's Would You Rather um, Dip Editions and go on from there. It can change at any time, by the way, guys. But today we're going to do Would You Rather. And then we're going to go to see if we can break our record and on a deal or no deal. And then we're going to vibe, do some live viber spotlight. So if you guys have any images to share, DM me those images now. So by the time we get there, once we start live viber spotlight, guys, I'm not showing any pictures. I don't want any DMs coming in. It, Our live viber spotlights are lasting 40 minutes to an hour now. So once we start it, no more entries. Because we, we, we do it on Fridays. We do it on Fridays. But anyways, guys. First question, I hope you guys are responding here in the comments. Would you rather chew Red Man for the rest of your life or Stokers? Some people don't like chew, some people do. If you've tried Red Man, if you try, I mean, I'm pretty sure most people who have tried chew have tried Red Man. Now it's called America's Best or whatever. Or Stokers, if you had to pick one. Or Stokers. And I can actually see right here that Stokers isn't even filled in. Let's go back to the frame. Or... Oh man, I hope this wasn't like this before. But yes, how's everyone doing? Oh shit, my bad. Camera, 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 camera. And we back. We are back. <laughs> I was reading some of you guys' comments already, but... Um, Adrian, what's up? NC Rocker, Logan, Renee's here, Dark Hills. Who else? JD? What's up, guys? I hope everyone's having a great day. I, I'm, I already, you know, this is 9 p.m. This is like sexy time on Valentine's Day. So I don't expect very many people tonight, but at the same time, we're vibing, dude. Jason, what's up, dude? How you doing? Jason, Jaden, Elizabeth, and Robert. What's up, guys? You guys have little, what do, what do you guys do for Valentine's Day, man? Tyler, Tyler's watching a movie with his girl, but he, he checked in earlier, but Grayson. I'm gonna go down to the comments, guys. Renee, how was the football match, Renee? I would like to know, dude. I would like to know, did you get any pictures, Renee? <laughs> Jason, you're feeling defeated. Why are you feeling defeated, Jason? What's going on, man? I tried multiple times and they won't allow it. All right, I don't. I'm entering mid freaking mid combo, dude. I hope everything's all right. Damn, I'm in Cali. We still have Stokers. We just don't have flavors. I just placed an order on the Northerner for some flavored dips. Robert, you probably paid what thirty bucks for shipping at least due to the tobacco tax on the Northerner, dude. I try ordering cans of Grizzly here. The cans of Grizzly weren't too bad. It was around five dollars a can, but and I think I added the cart. I think I added like 30 cans or 60 cans. I think shipping with tobacco tax was like 90 something dollars. It's ridiculous, dude. I don't know how the Northerner is in business, to be honest with you. But people, are, people will pay those prices if they really need their nicotine. NC says Red Man for life. America's best. Yes, Red Man. I actually put Red Man. But all right, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm going to mark that, dude. Let's start taking counts here. Let's start. Uh, all right, so we got a red man. Personally, me, guys, I'm a Stoker's guy. Stoker's. It's They, they offer more flavors, dude. Last time I checked, dude, I, I mean, I've done like two or three different Stoker's Chews review on this channel, but the butternut was really good. There's a lot that I haven't tried, though. I remember Tequila Sunrise, the peach, peach, dude, bro. Anyways, the Bassman says Stokers. He's a Stokers dude. Enter yours in, guys. And if you guys have 
the next would you rather let me know in the comments what should we do this is again this needs all of our involvement dude daniel nut what's up daniel you're saying you're going with red band all right Video challenge USA, what's up dude? Welcome back. I could deal with Redman for life. All right, Redman's winning this one, wow. Interesting, Brad and Comer, what's up dude? Both good shoes, but Redman for life. All right, Redman taking the lead. Justin, what's up Justin? He's saying stokers. This is good. We're, the live vibe is so even dude, it's so even. There's some of these questions though that are like, yeah, 90% and then You'll have like 10% in the bottom. <laughs> Dark Hills. What up, nut? <laughs> Daniel Nut. <laughs> it's not even called Red Man anymore. So invalid question. Fast Man. Don't be a smart ass, brother. Don't be a smart ass, bro. I already mentioned it, bro. I said Red Man because not everyone knows they've changed it to America's Best. <laughs> well, how you doing, dude? If I had to choose between Grayson says, if I had to choose between Redman and Stokers, I'd have to go with Redman. Oh, wow, wow, Derek Reagan, what's up, Derek? Fast man, what's up? I've never tried. You never had Chu Rene? Well, you are in Denmark. I get that, but it's very interesting, dude. I would. Wow, you guys. I remember Snooze with the Snooze King that still does content. He sent me a bag of German chew, dude, and it was really good. I wonder, if, and it was very similar to American chew. There's an, I'd done an actual video on it on this channel, man, but I would suggest you gotta try it, dude. It's very molasses, it's very sweet. And Renee, chew makes you spit like a freaking llama, dude. Non stop, dude. Wish I can try Stokers. Oh, that's why. What's up, John? What's up, John? Yeah, I'm a Stokers man all the way. I like Red Man, but I'll take Stokers over Red Man. All right, Dark Hills. You're in the cool side, bro. You're in the cool side. For me, bro, America Best, you freaking change your name for the woke culture. Uh, you're gone. I hate wokeism. I hate, I would not support a company who goes woke, dude. That's just me personally. But come on, dude. You got the Red Washington Redskins changing their their names to the Commanders. But there's a lot like Kansas City Chiefs. Why haven't they been canceled, right? The Atlanta Braves. The Cleveland. The Cleveland Indians. I think they changed their name. I think baseball changed their names. But then you got hockey, right? Chicago Blackhawks. This is Native American representation, man. It's Native American representation. It's like they're taking, you know, Aunt Jemima and, and Ben's rice. They're taking these black iconic figures and putting them out of the, the boxes. Now there's no black representation. Now there's not going to be any Native American representation. Like, why? It's reverse racism, dude. It's reverse racism. But that's just me. Happy V-Day or er, ah, Valentine's Day. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, guys. <laughs> Well, this is a very dramatic show, dude. Very dramatic show. <laughs> and here we go. Damn right, Brandon. Gonna have to go. Matt. What's up, Matt Harmon? Welcome back. He's going with Stokers. Look at that. Stokers is making a comeback here, guys. Who's gonna win this one? And Q, Chris. Very Q. <laughs> I can order Swedish news. All I want to buy is an American product. No sense of it at all. I know, dude. What's up, Jefferson? CD Vibers, hell yes. What's up, brother? How you doing, dude? Adrian, Red Man, but I would rather dip than Chew. Obviously, obviously. Chew isn't very popular, dude. It's not. Uh, there's a lot of people who only dip Chew, but I've actually made a... I remember doing a video not like, well, no, it was long ago. Why is dip more popular than Chew? And that might be something we need to re revisit here. But Adrian says Red Man. Red man in the lead. Jefferson, right, Bass Man? <laughs> Dark. My day was good, Grayson. My day was good, man. I hope your day is good, brother. And I hope it ends well tonight, dude. 
Nah, Jaden, he's my date. <laughs> I'm everyone's date, dude. I'll be your date. We're gonna pack lips together, dude. First one in chat, blockchain, what's up? Tonight, what's up, everyone? What's up, blockchain? What's up, CD? Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, brother. How you doing? You guys are vibing, dude. Hell <laughs> yes, green. Green hearts. Green, what's up? I will try stokers. Gregory, I'm going to put you down for stokers. Because you didn't say that you will try red men. So I'm, sna I'm, I'm, I'm snagging that one, dude. Make sure you hit that like button for CD1. Show some love. Subscribe to chat. Absolutely green. Thank you. If you guys are vibing with us tonight, do me a favor and like the video. That'll be super key. Appreciate it. All right. We got, uh, I'd rather move out of Washington State and have more choices different too. Yeah. Washington State, like, it's just weird, dude. Like, I actually want to move to Washington State. But something's got to change, dude. Something's got to change. The politics is... Is pretty delusional because I know they're passing bills right now to legalize I believe they're trying to legalize mushrooms or psychedelics in the, in the state of Washington which is a good thing right but really you're gonna ban flavor dip it makes no sense dude all these states man these stupid states let they're adults how is it that we can sell alcohol how is it that we can sell alcohol Alcohol is a thousand percent more harmful than smokeless tobacco, regardless whether it's vape, whether it's snooze, nicotine pouches, chew. It's crazy. It makes no sense. Robert says stokers. All right, guys, we're about 50-50, dude. Iceman, what's up, Iceman? Welcome back, brother. Not 50-50 no more. What's up, Nicholas Hopkins? How you doing, dude? Trenton, what up, dude? Trenton Oldacker. I believe this is your first live vibe, Trenton. If it is, welcome to the live vibe, brother. Iceman, you're solo. Not anymore, bro. You're with me, dude. You're with me. <laughs> Can't even order domestic on tobacco online. They won't ship anything here. Oh, that sucks. Both good shoes, but red man for life, Brandon. Comer says, okay. We're tied, guys. We're freaking tied, dude. I guess I'm stuck with the red man. Oh, Jason. Not cute. <laughs> the next would you rather could be beer versus hard liquor. I think the next would you rather, we should just create any question. Any question. It doesn't have to be a dip edition. Like, I still got a bunch of screenshots of really good would you rather questions, but maybe we just do it open. We can talk about anything what state would you rather live in what country would you would, would you rather would live in put a couple out there if you had a choice between whiskey or tequila which ones are you doing if you had a choice of a shot just only a shot which are you doing vodka or rum i think we can learn a lot about each other there i mean the live vibe dude you guys are all freaking drinkers well not all but and i'm not that big of a drinker nowadays but i do have very a lot of knowledge of alcohol <laughs> It was a great experience, even though we lost. Attaboy, Renee. Attaboy. That's good. That's a good way to take it in. Yeah, losing sucks, but you still had a good time. A lot of people, their team loses and their whole day is ruined. You know what I mean? But uh, I'm glad you had a great time, Renee. Stokers definitely has more flavors, Elena. What's up, Elena? How you doing? Happy Valentine's Day, Elena. My bae. <laughs> How was your date? You went on a date last night, didn't you? How'd it go, Elena? I want to know. We want the details. <laughs> if you don't want to share, I totally get it. I totally get it. It will always be red man to me. Yeah, same. It always, it always be red man to me, dude. Yeah. Hey, Elena. <laughs> Drink one bottle of vodka per day, or rest for the rest of your life, or. All right, I'm going to screenshot that NC. Submit your guys' questions, dude. So we'll go to the next one. Would you rather take a sh... Oh, God. Oh, that, that, that one's a funny one, dude. The Bassman, that's a good one. I'm not going to highlight it, though. That'll be the next one, Bassman. I, I got two already in, in the hopper. Siberia Black all the way. 
Full can of Siberia or two full... Oh, that's a good one, too. Oh, man. JD, JD. Uh, I know which... I mean, I already know my answers for all these that I'm taking screenshots of that we're going to do in a little bit. Wokeism is whack. Yeah, it's just... It's whack. It does the opposite, dude. It does the opposite. Like, even in the Super Bowl, they did the Black National Anthem. It's like, dude, you're segregating here. The national anthem is for everyone, every color, every race and creed. They just want divide. Dude, the government wants division. Everything's divided. Because we're divided, we're, we're focusing on hating whatever side of the coin that you are, and the government just passes bills like crazy. Like they just did the $96 billion. Well, I don't know. I don't know if it's all the way through yet. But, yeah, it's... I know how it works. I understand how the way the Matrix is now, man. Stoker's butter. <laughs> What's up, Raymond? How you doing, dude? Stoker's... I'm, I'm putting Raymond down for a freaking... He's picking Stoker's butter, not so I'm assuming he's picking Stoker's over Red Man. I won't drink any Anheuser-Busch beer. PBR all day. PBR, man. <laughs> How you doing, Raven? The live I wants to know, dude. I do. Not snuff. I remember the the wintergreen, which was really good. The Red Man wintergreen, dude. But I don't think it was a snuff, brother. I don't think it was a snuff. We can Google that later. I can Google that later. Let me see. Red Man snuff. I can Google that later. Skull, my mouth is big enough to hold a Coke. <laughs> Jeez. Matt, I think I already got you down. Bro, it's a bro date, bro. It's nothing sexual, bro. <laughs> Stillman, what's up, Stillman? How you doing, brother? You saying Stokers. Stokers is pulling away now, man. I appreciate that blockchain. I appreciate you, bro. Maybe you can get into politics and become our governor. No, 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 no. I am actually weeding off. I used to be all up knowing every little detail in politics. Now it's like I'll check Twitter a couple times just to see what's going on because I think it's important. I think it's important to follow politics to see what bullshit is being passed underneath our noses just to be aware. But I'm not. I I'm spending literally 95% less time than I would normally spend on. And I think it's, I think it is important to be informed. But it's also very important to not watch the news, and not spend a lot of time on it. That is whatever happens happens, man. Um, I've been less. My anxiety is down to zero. Stress is down to zero now. And a lot of it, not a lot of it, but a good portion of it has to do with you know seeing. The way our world is operating right now you know what i mean seeing the lies seeing the disinformation disinformation everything is fake dude it's it's weird bro cali sucks for flavored naked juice products nick pouches dip chew cigars vape the northerner came in clutch hey the northerner works for you bro hell yeah man their their idea of banning flavored dip is that going to might lessen the enticement to tobacco for young guys yeah that's that's their only escape bro they say that all the time like dude you know how expensive these pouches nicotine pouches are everything you think we're just gonna freaking hat them to kids and wait no no one's gonna do that blockchain stokers for me brother i love stokers i really love stokers dude F Valentine, I'm becoming single. I had a chosen between hoe or life vibe, and I'm here. You had to choose between a hoe or the live vibe, and you're here. <laughs> the live vibe is always here for you, Renee. Whiskey tequila made me puke once. Bro, I puked on every liquor moment, man. <laughs> JD, of course. Back in the Boy Scouts, we've learned a few Native American songs to play in a drum circle, a few dances. Bro, Native American flute and guitar used to be 
the ambiance that I would play in the background when I would study or when I would fall asleep. I love Native American music, bro. Flute and guitar, the chanting, I love that shit. Derek's drinking that beer right on. Farquad, what's up? Nice mask, my friend. I died laughing when I saw that in the group chat. The live vibe group chat on Insta, dude. <laughs> Alf. Isn't it weird that he has an Alf mask and yet he's deathly afraid of camels? That looks like a freaking camel to me, dude. What's up, Farquad? You're a camel, bro. You're a camel human. <laughs> Out of four. And they aren't worried about the kids. It's getting uh, cannabis products or hard drugs, but about them getting hooked on nicotine. Clown world. Yeah. Totally. J Man, what's up, dude? J Man saying Red Man. Dude, we're about fifth. Oh, no. Dude. Oh, I hate when this happens. All right, there you go. Uh, yeah, look at that, dude. We're damn even, dude. I like that question. I like that question, Adrian. But it's not a dipping question. <laughs> well, we can still do it. Absolutely, Derek. Send me a link. DM me your link to your channel. I just added Farquad. By the way, guys, support your fellow live vibers down below in the description. We got some YouTube channels for you to check out. Um, check them out. Give them a subscribe. Like their content. Watch their stuff. But Derek, absolutely, bro. I, I will. Wokeism actually alienates people that brings them to consider the limitations of the worldviews. Yeah? Yeah. 95.3 billion. Not fully passed yet, thank God. Yeah, and it has to go through what? The Senate, I think, right? Or the House? No. <laughs> Dude, they passed that or they voted that in like at overnight like three in the morning or some shit when people were sleeping they have so much hidden shit in that bill none of it's for america bro none of it's for america that's what pisses me off we have i don't even want to get get to it <laughs> two stokers they got the flavor i want it's perfect apple Though I love Golden Blend Red Man. Alright, so I'm putting it down for Stoker's Far Quad. If I haven't already. <laughs> Good old Bobby Stoker, yep. Would it be cool if Grizzly made a pineapple dip? Absolutely, Trenton. It'll be cool if Skull, Longhorn, Timberwolf, Kayak, every dip brand made a pineapple. So we can get... Pick one. Pick a really good pineapple. I want all tobacco companies to be releasing as many flavors as possible. I think it's good for competition. Native Americans supposedly provided tobacco to the pilgrims. I believe that. 100%. Trent, you're not late, brother. What's up? Welcome to Live Vibe, dude. Alf is an alien. <laughs> He's a camo, bro. Looks like a damn camel. What's up, Craig? Craig is saying Stokers. Guys, it looks like Stokers is just gonna barely make it. I made it. What's up? High as hell tonight, and I am dipping Stokers Wintergreen. Long cut tonight. Yeah, boy. Right on. When you get a chance, you can check your DMs, Bay, and read what happened. Absolutely. I'll check tonight, Elena. Stokers all day. What's up, Bradshaw212? Welcome to the live vibe, brother. This might be your first live vibe. But Bradshaw, right on. My Fred's Choice Redman Select is good, though. Yeah. Redman. I like Redman. I just don't like that they changed their name for the woke culture. But he's picking Stokers. All right, guys. I'll be right back. I gotta take a piss. I know. It's crazy. All right. So, actually, hold on. I haven't gone all the way down to the bottom. What's up, Ninja Bear? Ninja Bear chooses Red Man. All right, Red Man coming in in the late. What's up, Dennis? The U.S. and House are the corruptest out. Yeah, of course they are. <laughs> I 
Yeah, they all do, brother. They all do. What's up, King? Stokers for sure. And you saying, what's up, peeps? Hell yes. All right, Stokers. Stokers got it, dude. Stokers took this one barely, but I might have double ticked some. I'm just going to count that as a draw. I'm counting that as a draw, guys. We're very even here. We are very even here. So, all right, let's see. NC Rocker. Oh, God, NC. That's a horrible one, dude. Drink one bottle of vodka a day. Jeez. I'm going to type in this question, and then you guys. I'm going to go take a piss, and then you guys can answer this. Drink one bottle. Dude, I don't like that. I don't like that. Hold on. A little lower. Oh, God. A full can of Siberia every day? Oh, dude. All right, guys, let me know in the comments. Got to do one or the other. This will be a good one to talk about. I'll be right back. We'll be back. Oh, perfect. Song just ended. All right, this one's good, guys. But, dude, I'm the first thing I'm thinking about is my health. I mean, drinking... Okay, let's just assume, guys, the one bottle is just a fifth. Okay, it's not a handle. Let's just call it a fifth. But, full can of Siberia, man. If you drink a full bottle of vodka, you're going to be out for hours out for hours unless you're a heavy drinker and you can be okay with that siberia you'll be screwed for at least an hour afterwards but then again like what if you just chug a bottle of vodka and then puke it all out and that full can of siberia yeah i don't know dude nicotine uh overdoses is an actual thing not nicotine yeah, nicotine. All right, I'm going up on the list, and we're going to keep tally. <laughs> oh, man. When seen this female tonight, she's fine like wine. Out of boy, Zach. <laughs> Drink a bottle of vodka a day, 200 of Grey Goose down the hatch. Gulp, gulp. Bass, man, you're freaking crazy, dude. I like Grey Goose. If I'm dipping a vodka, it's either Grey Goose or Kettle One. Actually, I prefer Kettle One. Kettle One is just, it's smoother, man. It's smoother. I like Kettle One. I used to, for a little bit, vodka cranberry was my, was my go-to. We know that's a chick drink. Oh, king, king, king. That's a crazy one. We can do that one, dude. 
We'll do that one. It's not really dip related, but I like that one. We're gonna end it with, with, with yours today. By the way, guys, we've been kicking ass on Deal or No Deal. Our record is 224, our record low is 184. That's pretty bitching, dudes. Elena says vodka. Adrian says Siberia. Siberia, huh? Yeah, Siberia for king. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna put a tick mark for me. I think I'm gonna do the full can of Siberia. Siberia, I wanna try that shit. <laughs> You're gonna regret it afterwards. Robert Vodka. Jason loves Siberia. <laughs> Farquad Siberia. Stillman vodka. And Sea Siberia. Green is vodka. Wow. <laughs> I'll take a bottle of vodka and some mama juice. Vodka in no vodka? Dude, you were so even. We're so even. <laughs> Liz and Robert are drinkers, bro. They like to party, man. <laughs> Green, you're gonna piss yourself. <laughs> Vodka, just gotta get creative and mix it. I think it's doable. Dude, you think it's doable? A fifth? <sighs> We're tied. 7-7, seven, seven, guys. I would drink the vodka a day, but who's buying it? I pass, Siberia. Yeah. Siberia is probably seven bucks a can on the northerner, but shipping is gonna be expensive. But again, dude, you can get that cheap vodka. You can get a fifth for probably like ten bucks. I don't know. I haven't bought liquor in quite some time. Ninja Bear Drum Circle. Was it a meeting? I don't know what you mean by that, Ninja Bear. I don't know. I I was taking a piss, Ninja Bear. I'm not sure what you mean by that. But let me know. We were talking about Native American music and how much I enjoy it. Like a Native Native American flute and guitar. But then you're saying drum circle question mark was it a meeting? And I was at some sort of thing earlier today. I just don't know what you're you're referring to. Vodka and the bong. Dang Renee. Dang Renee. Renee doesn't beer bong beer, bro. He he is vodka, dude. <laughs> what is this video challenge? The Would You Rather Show with Chris Ips One will return after this oh, after this piss break. Yeah, I need to come. I used to have when I used to live stream the the Charger games. I would put piss break. I I, I gotta make one for the live vibe. Siberia, Nicholas. All right, breaking the tie up. Siberia's in the lead. I do not drink alcohol with Gregory. I'm gonna put you down for sub here, my friend. <laughs> Vodka every day. Craig. That's four. I have to go with a bottle of vodka a day. Can't use Siberia. My Moscow noodles. What is Moscow? You guys said it was a drink yesterday. I might have to Google that later. Matt, I don't know if my bank account can handle the shipping of Siberia every day. Absolutely. That's why you gotta buy in bulk. <laughs> okay, I was just curious. There was just singing some peyote songs if they were just singing whoa well, you guys are playing songs what's going on peyote songs to pass the time I want to know about peyote songs I have a lot of shamanic music but it's not like Native American it's um Peru Southern or South American music oh you're changing it and see, you're changing it, bro. <laughs> Whatever's cheapest. <laughs> Gregory. Yeah, we're about even. I think I'm done tallying up with all this stuff. We're, we're freaking even here, dude. Chris, can you ship me some Siberia? Derek, absolutely not. I'm sorry. You're going to have to find some on your own, dude. <laughs> I can't, dude. I can't. Would you dip kayak for the rest of your life? Or if it's fired, oh god, no, no Derringer Trent, no Derringer Trent. Hey Brittany, is Brittany here? What's up, Brittany? Sorry I'm late. 
Not been feeling. Oh, Brittany. I hope you feel better, Brittany. I'm sorry to hear that. I don't drink anymore. So Siberia for Ninja Bear. I don't. <laughs> a lot of us. I don't drink anymore too. So a, a lot of people. Actually, there was like three or four of you guys that just don't drink alcohol. That I put you down for Siberia. That's cool. That's cool. My non-alcoholic friends. <laughs> My non-alcoholic vibers. My first time in Stockholm about five years ago, I had some snooze and fell in love. <sighs> Stockholm, Sweden. Man, you're lucky, man. You're lucky. That'd be dope to go to Sweden. But that's awesome, dude. So you, I'm sure you tried a bunch of different shit there. But that's bitching. I like snooze too, man. I love it. I just can't get, I'm not paying northerner prices for it. <laughs> Getting high and vibing with my family. Attaboy, Green. <laughs> Stop it, Farquaad. Practice, practice. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you, Ninja, for clearing for that. <laughs> You're Navajo dip fan. Hell yes. Oh, you're... You're, you're Navajo. No way. That makes you even cooler, Ninja Bear. That makes you even cooler. Hell yes. Hell yes. <laughs> okay. Cool, man. That Dude, that's cool, dude. I, I love that. That's awesome. I'm getting too damn old to drink. That's what it is, Raymond, huh? It is, bro. I think that's what it is. Like, if you drink daily or you drink weekly, you're fine. But when you're a person that just drinks on occasional social drink or go out to a bar and it's like very, maybe one time every couple months, it, it's hard, dude. It's hard. Super Bowl started off slow, but ended up turning into a damn good game. It was, Brandon. It was a really good game, dude. Rock'em Sock'em. What's up, dude? Welcome back. Jesus, can't stand vodka. But I have to choose Volcano Siberia's Torture. <laughs> I get it, dude. The Moscow Mule is a cocktail made with vodka, ginger beer, lime juice, garnished with a slice of wedge of lime, and spring of mint. Ooh, that sounds freaking delicious. That sounds delicious. Oh, got a super chat. Where's Michael? Where's Michael? <laughs> From Wyatt Morgan. Hey, bud, I dipped Grizzly and wanted to help out and wanted to help out anybody. Oh, why? I appreciate that, man. What what kind of grizzly? You wintergreen? Straight? Mint? But I appreciate the super chat, why? <laughs> Dude. I haven't done... First off, I, it's hard to find dark mint here, dude. Like, I have very rarely see dark wintergreen, but dark mint. I remember it being tolerable because for me the mints are just too damn powerful but dark mint is one of those mints that I've, I've been wanting to try man but uh why thank you brother I appreciate it man I've tried a can of Siberia was just I have tried a can of Siberia and was just sick okay I know you like Siberia Renee but you actually tried a full can of Siberia I don't know what would make anyone try a full can of Siberia but dude you're wicked brother yeah, it, three of them makes me sick. Three of them. Dude, I put two z freaking zins in and I'm already zinging. I don't feel like I'm like about to pass out or die or anything like that. But I feel it, dude. It's it's not good. What's up, Fritz? How you doing? Vodka? All right. Vodka. Hey, what's up, Sasquatch? I do Sab Dark Hill says, I do Siberia because Nick won't kill you like booze. Yeah. But I think you can... Dude, I think a nicotine overdose is, is a thing, dude. I honestly do think it's a thing. But I'll take my chances with Siberia rather than vodka, dude, for sure. <laughs> Wyatt, you're thinking about doing videos. Any advice? My advice, well, I don't know what kind of content. I don't know if you're thinking about doing dip content. But, dude, have fun. You have fun with it. Don't expect to get a million followers and thousands and millions of views. Do it because you love it. 
and the rest will come. Enjoy your process. Enjoy your content. Have, have fun, dude. If you can have fun, you're set. You're set, bro. That's my advice for you. Oh, and uh, I mean, if you want some more serious advice, uh, your cell phone. Any cell phone nowadays can. I'm using my cell phone to stream this right here. Um, you don't have to go and spend a lot of money on expensive equipment and editing stuff. You don't need all that shit, bro. Just start. Just start. Don't wait on it. Turn on your camera. Set it up. Make sure you're in frame your whole time. Set it up on a stand. Lean it up against a book, a wall, something. And go for it. And you will get better every time you do it. You'll start noticing, hey, maybe I should start editing more. Maybe I should start, you know... It'll all flow, dude. It'll all flow, bro. But good luck, man. I'll be, dude. Let me know if you start doing content. Let us know on the live vibe. We'll we'll share it, dude. We'll share it. Video challenge for the last few years since started dipping. I really can't drink that much. In fact, last night I had three cans of Oregon IPA and had to call the SWEPA to self-report air pollution. What? I am confused by that video challenge. <laughs> For the past few years, I started since I, since I started tipping. I can't. I really can't drink that much. In fact, last night the three cans of Oregon IPA. You drink three beers of IPA, and how to call the SWEPA to self-report air pollution? I don't get that joke, bro. You could be put the LOL on the end. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Doggone. Doggone outlaw in Siberia challenge and still blame him this day. I thought I was going to die in that dude. Siberia is wicked, bro. I'm telling you. You do welding and guns. Hell yes, dude. Dude, do it. I mean, I won't be able to share the, the gun stuff here in the live stuff, but the welding stuff, absolutely. Absolutely, brother. <laughs> and you gotta understand, dude. YouTube doesn't like anything unrelated so keep that in mind keep that in mind that your videos might get taken down my live got canceled one night from showing a picture bro it wasn't even a video it was just a picture <laughs> oh <laughs> beer makes you fart I, it's the carbon. It has to be the carbonation. But that's freaking hilarious, dude. <laughs> My <business. laughs> All right. What's the next question, guys? Let's do it up. Let's do, I think, uh, JD. Well, we just did Siberia. We just did a Siberia question. But JD says... Here, let's just do it. Let me... Um, Let's see what I can do here. Let's keep this. A lot of you guys haven't tried Siberia. All right, guys, a full can of Siberia or two full cans of Copenhagen snuff, dude. That is brutal. I don't think, I don't think, first off, dude, do people even know if they could even fit one full can of dip in their mouth? Yet two, yet alone two. But he says, full can of Siberia or two full cans of Copenhagen snow. I'm gonna tell you right now, two cans, Copenhagen snow. That's what I'm picking. Two full cans of snuff, baby. Give me that shit. Siberia, that's scary shit, dude. Jason, I got two Zen pouches in and I'm zinging. Yeah, you are, Jason. <laughs> Cope snuff all day. Fritz says Cope snuff. Cope snuff for Kingfisher. Cope, 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 Cope. 
Copenhagen snuff. I've done it. Don't recommend it. All right. I mean, I don't know how many people did that, but that was a lot of cope snuffs. I don't think I have even have to do this one. Two cans of snuff. Oh, show Rock'em Sock'em says. <laughs> Nobody wants to do Siberia. It's funny. A lot of people were picking Siberia in the last question. But honestly, guys, I would rec if if you were my best friend, if you were my best friend, and you were with me, we're vibing, and that challenge came before your eyes. There was two cans of snuff and one can of Siberia, and you're like, dude, I don't know this shit. I never had either one of these. Which one would you recommend? I would say I would rec. I would say put some Vaseline in your lips, bro, because we're gonna shove two cans of Coke snuff into your mouth. Um, the full can of Siberia would just, oh no, I wouldn't wreck it. Dude, that's just brutal, dude. That is brutal. Cope, Robert says. Cope, Raymond says. Max Papa John. What's up, Max Papa John? Chris, why does Cope Wintergreen taste better than Grizzly Wintergreen with the winky face? Um, to me, it does not. For me, my issue with Copenhagen Wintergreen is it's too sweet. It's too sweet. Grizzly has the banger, bro. Grizzly has that that two three combo, man. Um, but Max, welcome to the live vibe. First off, I believe this is your first live vibe. Second off, if you like Copenhagen Wintergreen, good for you, brother. A lot of people. That's that's a that's probably Copenhagen's bestseller. Just like Grizzly's Wintergreen is their bestseller. Copenhagen Wintergreen is the best Copenhagen seller. Wintergreen is the most popular flavor. Period. Speaking of taking out that pouch, I'm putting a fat dip of some Cougar Long Coat Wintergreen. Thanks to Max, because he reminded me. I prefer Cougar Wintergreen over Copenhagen Wintergreen, bro. Neither, Elizabeth says. For me, I'm scared. I can I can only handle three milligrams. You know what? You'd be very surprised, Liz, if you tried like a small pinch of like grizzly wintergreen or something it's gonna burn your lip but i don't think you'll feel too crazy but i'm not recommending it your man knows what to do if you ever want to venture out to the long cut side i'm sure your man would gracefully recommend some good stuff grayson two cans of cope snow cope cope wow no one is even saying siberia two with dip full dude the toughest thing about doing a full can of snuff is first off it's hard to pinch like your best bet is just to get a spoon and do it but snuff gets all over everywhere dude it's brutal bro it's brutal as i sit here with a dip of apple loaded in my lip <laughs> atta boy brandon atta boy brandon if you guys are here vibing here with us and haven't done so, do me a favor and drop a like on this video. A Valentine's Day like. That'd be cute. What about did someone reuse dip or dip dirt? Oh man, Mason, Mason. We're already in 54 minutes in. I already screenshotted some ones, some other ones, so we can't do any more, but keep that in mind. I would like to use that for the next one. Cope Ninja Bear. <laughs> Yes. Okay, no. Um, that's nasal snuff. It's way more, it's like a powder, bro. Just think of like baby powder. Um, then there's a snuff cut, which is like Copenhagen makes a snuff, Grizzly makes a snuff. Um who else makes snuff? I'm sure there's other companies that make snuffs. But there's a, there's the difference between moist snuff, nasal snuff, chewing tobacco, um, snooze nick pouches those are all variants different variants but i categorize all those as dip i call it dip now if i tell i would never say to someone hey do you want to chew no you want to dip i know this is the dip edition and we we're talking about siberia and we're doing like the first question was a snooze question right but smoke this tobacco Smokeless nicotine. I don't know. It's dip, dude. It's dip. That's crazy. 
Brittany says, by the way, happy Valentine's Day, fam. We are a family here, guys. Valentine's Day, man. It's Valentine's Day. Some of us are single. Some of us aren't. Regardless, it's a day of love. You guys are all my dates tonight, baby. Kingfisher, I'm a Coke Wintergreen guy. However, I will go with Cougar over both. Really? Okay. Wow. As a, as a Coke Wintergreen guy. Interesting. Dude, I, I haven't had Coke Wintergreen in years. And I will do that. I will buy a can of Coke. I'm waiting to get five different Coke cans, though, because I get a really good deal if I buy five. Copenhagen Extra Long Cut tonight, Attaboy Robert. That one's good. It's good flavor. It's really good flavor. Interesting choice of Cougar. It's it's, it's Grizzly Wintergreen. Uh, it's Diet Grizzly Wintergreen. This is Diet Grizzly Wintergreen. They reformulated it, and it's half the price as Grizzly. So, I'm dipping this. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for answering. Just found the channel and dig the live vibe. Oh, okay, Max. So you're a newbie. Right on, man. Welcome to the live vibe. I'm glad you found us. And we're here Monday through Friday, brother, at 9 p.m. Eastern, man. Come, come hang out with us. And I hope you stay for deal or no deal, bro. This is what the live vibe's about, bro. We're going to break record tonight. Sorry I threw in so many questions. <laughs> You're good. Mmm. What's up, fat redneck? Welcome to the live vibe, brother. So, you're, you're rare, my friend. I think you're the first one to say the full can of Siberia, but that's good. I like that. I'm not keeping track just because everyone's saying cope. I effing lost internet. No, you didn't. You wouldn't be able to type that if you lost it. Unless you lost it earlier. You're good now, right, Lena? <laughs> Couldn't keep a Zen in. I know, dude. Don't sleep on Zen, dude. Mm. Brandon, I hope I, I hope we see you again here, Brandon. And if you do come back, bro, put a cool profile picture up. For your newbies that just have your basic, put something cool, bro. Put something cool on. I think it's BS. Braden says that all these manufacturers do their coupons now. Then you try doing mobile coupons of the store you're at, then walk up to the counter and they're like, we don't do mobile coupons. 7-Eleven does, and I've run into that issue plenty of times, whether it's a mobile or a physical coupon. But yes, I do think it's BS, Braden, and I'm 100% with you. I'm 100% with you, brother. <laughs> from robert happy valentine's live vibe me and liz hope you guys had a great day dude thanks for the super chat robert dude we're vibing dude our days are fantastic if i'm here with you guys it's the best night of my life honestly i'm, I'm being serious about that you guys have no idea how passionate i am with this live show dude and this new rebirth that i have but robert i appreciate that super chat brother i appreciate it and Elizabeth, thank you very much. <laughs> Big body, what's up, dude? I'm gonna have to do Siberia. I can't do vodka, man. All right. Big body, welcome back, first off. Big body, you've been here a few times, buddy. You gotta change that profile pic, bro. <laughs> a lot of you guys, though. I've tried a can of Siberia. Yeah, oh yeah, we went to that one already. No good, no good, Renee. <laughs> Siberia blue, it's all the same shit, bro. I've tried their gold can. I've tried their blue can. I've tried their red can. I've tried their black. I can't even tell you how many different variants there is in Siberia. All I know is that Siberia would knock you on your ass, dude. Um, I have a couple cans here that are opened. But, um, damn, my ice maker, damn. But, uh, yeah. There's nothing to F with, dude. What's up, Wyatt? How you doing, man? Vodka if I'm not feeling like shit. <laughs> Nothing beats good old-fashioned white Russian drink. I don't know how... Dude, I know the dude was a white Russian guy. I'm not a, a milk, coffee, liqueur type of guy. And I think that's what a white Russian is. 
Oh, so why you're thinking of doing dip reviews, not welding? Any advice? Yes. The dips that you dip regularly, start with those. Start with those and review those. Share people your thoughts and have fun. Have fun. Just like I said earlier, have fun with it. Anyone that's doing content. Like, dude, I love watching Dark Hills, his videos. He's doing his passion, man. And you can just tell he's having fun. He's ha You can tell he's having fun. Shaking them spray cans and shit. You know what I mean? He knows. You gotta have fun with it, dude. Dark Mint is like old Kodiak Ice. I've had the Kodiak. Kodiak Ice. No, I remember Icy Mint, the rooster. I don't know. Did Kodiak make an ice? But... Hmm. Dark mint was just a mellower version than the, the dude. Grizzly mint's the most potent mint you dip you would ever dip. Grizzly mint is like if you're a mint fan, holy shit, do grizzly. I'm not. Back in the day, mint was like my secondary, third flavor. It's always wintergreen, then peach, and then mint. But even those days where I couldn't find back in college, where I couldn't find wintergreen or or peach. It was Timberwolf back then. Um. Mint was the can, and after that first can, it would be horrible. My brother, my twin brother, dipped mint. That was his favorite. And then he went to Grizzly Wintergreen, because uh, it's in our blood, man. Brittany, I'll, I'll mix up some good... Dang, the girls are freaking vibing, making drinks without the boys. What's going on here? Jacobson leans sweet like Copenhagen, though. Dude, I... Jacobson was probably the best snooze I've ever had. I do like General, but Jacobson, their melon, they had a really a few good flavors. And not only that, it wasn't a very strong nicotine. It wasn't like it was it was up in the strong scale. It wasn't like your average, but it wasn't like Siberia or some of those thunders or anything like that. Close those ass cheeks there, video challenge. Nobody wants to hear that shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, I can never guys. If you can edit on your phone, if you're younger, like I'm old, I am old, old, old. Like when I Amazon shop, I don't buy, I don't buy anything off my phone. I buy it here on my computer because I can't, I can't. I mean, I could, but I just feel like I'm going to screw up with my phone. I have to, I'm old, man. I go through there. So my, even my editing, ha I can't edit on my phone, but I know plenty of people who who can edit full-on vlogs on their phone like nothing. And if you can do that, dude. I paid, what, $300 for Final Cut Pro, what I used to edit. And if you can have a free app on your phone and do it on the fly, especially if you're filming with your camera, everything is there, dude. I'm also blind and old, so I have to look at a bigger screen. But try it out, man. I'm interested in welding videos, Wyatt. And Kingfisher says, what's your page, Wyatt? I'll sub. Look at that, Wyatt. You got people who are already interested in you, brother. Pablo, no Renee. No Renee. Yeah, no. I need to I need a clean. I think I might have that same Pablo can. I don't know. I gotta check some old boxes. I would like to revisit Pablo, dude. Just because I think it'll be entertaining for you guys. Rock'em, two cans of snuff. Yep. Derek, full can of Siberia. Interesting. What kind of apple, Brandon, are you doing? Are you doing Skull Apple? Kayak Apple? I think Kayak makes an apple. Or is it Rogue? Rogue Apple?
Jacobson's is one I haven't tried at all. Jacobson's is good, dude. It's really good. Because they focus a lot on fruity flavors, dude. Alright, guys. What was the next question here? We're going to end it. Okay. I like this one by Adrian. It's not a dip question. But we're just going to go ahead and do it. Because here in the live vibe, like I've said plenty of times, we flow like water. It's constantly changing. But Adrian... Oh shit, too big, too big. All right, guys. Uh, Adrian says, would you rather wear cowboy boots or shoes? No, oh, I can give you, I can give you this one quick, bro, quick. But let's, let's veer off a little bit. So let's just say that it's for, it's for life, right? For life. We're going to see who the real rednecks are. We're going to see the people who work out on the farm are, man. I mean, shoes are boots, but we're just going to put... I don't know. We're just going to put regular shoes. Reg shoes are... Anything that's not a cowboy boot. <laughs> Dude, Jesse wears freaking like... Jesse doesn't even wear shoes anymore. He wears like these... Um, He wears those Yeezys, those foam shoes. Kind of like Crocs. And even his sandals are like Crocs material. <laughs> I could never do that. But, all right, I'm going to write. We're going to keep tally on this one here. We're going to keep tally on this one. This is, this is a good one. Wow, you guys are a bunch of rednecks up in here. You guys are a bunch of rednecks. I like it. I like it. I love it. Hey, I'm a redneck now, okay? I have a dipping live show. Well, it's a, it's a live show. It's not a dipping live show. But I got a badass coyote skull from Dark Hills. So that makes me a redneck. This makes me a redneck. I have a dead coyote in my desk. But Logan says, boots, bro. Rene, he's the Denmark. He's in Denmark. He's the European cowboy. Damn, okay. You guys. I'd rather wear Crocs. I said what I said. I like you, Brandon. You're a comfort, dude. J-Man with the boots? Got a pair for work and an everyday pair. You see, for me, guys, I've never tried cowboy boots, but they look extremely uncomfortable. They just do. Plus, I got short legs, dude. I got short legs. I don't want boots touching my kneecaps, bro. And I do know there's different hill variants and squared and round. I know some basic boot shit. Like a good pair of boots is like what, Justin's, right? Or something like that. I'm not a boot person. I hate Starbucks, but they make it okay. Out of nowhere from Grayson. I hate Starbucks, but they make a good damn dragon fruit lemonade. I made a spiked version with Bacardi dragon fruit rum and lemonade, and it was damn good. It's a fruity drink, bro. All fruity drinks taste good. All fruity drinks taste good. <laughs> Cowboy boots for Jaden. Boots for Raymond. Oh, Raymond's wearing those firefighting boots, though. Cowboy boots for fat redneck. Jeez. Wow. This is something that we're not really even here. Derek wears boots all the time. New boot goofing. Love it, JD. I love it. It's a Narino 911 clip, if you guys don't know. I'm sure you guys seen the meme. Holy. Okay. King. Holy crap. Size 17? Freaking Sasquatch, bro. You are a king. He's a true king, bro. He's, he's the king of the live vibe. David, what's up, dude? If it's boots or anything else, gotta go with anything else. Oh, so. Yeah, all right, you're going for anything else. Oh, shit, what did I do? All right. David, 
Jeans and boots every day. I'll miss my vans, but I love boots. You guys are a bunch of boot wearers. That's cool, man. That's cool that you guys all wear a bunch of cowboy boots, and yet you're watching this little preppy little... I'm not really a city boy, but, you know, I like that. It's cool. Like I said, I love Western boots. Switch them. Wait, what, what did you say? Switch them and my rubber muck boots for most of the year, except for summer. I pick cowboy boots for Gregory. Cowboy boots. All the time. Even when I wear... Trent! Is that a thing? Do people wear... I thought if you're wearing boots, like you gotta wear jeans or some pants or something. Can you wear cowboy boots with shorts? Boots, no doubt. What's up, Matt? All right. This is, I love my boots. I wear boots all day, it's cabo boots it is. Ninja bear boots, wow. Ariat, I've heard of those. Boots and shorts all day, Schleppy, right on Schleppy. Shoes for dark hills. I got a pair of Jesse boots and leather soles. Cowboy boots, but I love my Vans. Yeah, that wins, bro, that wins. Green regular shoes. Because where I work, I have to wear them all the time. Makes sense, makes sense. Had to retire my area boots. Regular shoes. Oh, we got another regular shoes. All right, guys, I'm going to put my point for regular shoes. Because with a guy with back problems, even though my back's been flawless for the last year, I have to wear running shoes. <laughs> I have to wear running shoes. Or I got those Vans. The, those mountain mountain van boots weatherproof ones but I'm a running shoes guy I used to be the the, the, the the dude who always wore cargo shorts and running shoes I love wearing jeans though but I'm a running shoes guy I, I go with comfort plus I pronate you guys know what pronate means if you go to like a running shoe store you can walk barefoot on a treadmill with a camera behind you. And base how you stride, base how long you walk on that treadmill, it's extra slow motion. It tells you if you're flat footed or whatever, if you rotate. For me, I don't know how I can show this, but when I walk, I don't walk like this where the heel touches. I walk like this. My outer heel rolls. So, with stability shoes, stability running shoes, this part here is really reinforced, dude. Where it forces you to kind of, when you walk, there's support. So you're not rolling your ankle or messing up your back. Because, yeah. You guys wear a bunch of boots, though. I don't think you guys give a shit about pronation or how you walk. <laughs> I like my shoes, Elizabeth says. There we go, we got one for shoes. I wear Crocs every day. Doing school work in Crocs, bro. <laughs> yes. Comfort, bro. Comfort. I get it, dude. I get why Jesse wears those shoes. They are extremely comfortable. My only issue with those is that rolling an ankle or something. There's no ankle support. I got to feel that ankle support for me, dude. <laughs> oh. Super chat. My camel Crocs every day doing school work. <laughs> You got camo crocs? What are they? Are, are they real tree? Masio camo? <laughs> That's bitching though. Thank you for the super chat, Dark Hills. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Dude, crocs have like unlimited. There's so many different pairs of crocs nowadays. It was crazy. <laughs> Am I flat footed? Um, I'm not. Ex no, not, not really. I'm not really extremely flat footed. Every real man pronates, LOL. <laughs> really? I did not know that. I just know that I was a, I was a hyper pronator. I was a hyper pronator. Summertime, I'm wearing my keen clothes toe sandals. <laughs> I won a race in cowboy boots before. What were you racing, dirt bikes or what? What's going on? <laughs> Are you, was it a running race? 
If you want to race in cowboy boots, bro, I am very impressed. I've, you know, I slipped on a couple boots before, and I'm just like, I don't know how. I think I, I tried to. Uh, Brad from the mud jug shop he used to always wear boots, and I remember I'm like, hey man, let, let me try those out. And I'm like, bro, how? I, I my shoes need to breathe, bro. My shoes need to breathe. I'm constantly in the gym, so I like shoes that breathe. And those boots didn't felt like there was good ventilation in them. And Brad was wearing, I think Justin's. Garrett used to wear Justin's all the time too. Garrett. But yeah, what's up, K9? You saying boots? 90% of you guys said boots. I walk sideways on my feet too. Or drag. I don't drag my feet. I never drag my feet. When is Croc going to make? Dude, I've seen memes of Crocs making boots, bro. Chris, you should review grinds. I just bought all the flavors. And they're supposed to come tomorrow. Mason, take a picture of all of them. And DM me that picture. I'm curious to see what they look like. The only grinds I've tried was that coffee one that was like really sticky, very not comfortable in your, in your mouth, very hard. But let me know, dude. I'd rather ride a motorcycle. Oh yeah, absolutely. If you're riding a motorcycle, for sure, cowboy boots, bro. Switching gears and shit. Absolutely. Yeah, I have Frankenstein feet. <laughs> All right, guys, we are gonna go to the last our last question here which was i believe king fisher and then we're going to go to deal or no deal now a lot of you guys might not know this if you guys have never tried shrooms you guys would probably not get it you probably won't won't get this one but would you rather trip shrooms all right, I like, I like it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Enlighten for sure. <laughs> I like how you put for sure. Or we're gonna go deep on this one, guys. We're gonna go deep. Wait, why did I put a question mark? Would you rather trip on shrooms and be enlightened for sure, or know how you will die? Oh, bro, that one's brutal. That one is brutal, my friend. <laughs> Check out the photo in your DMs to see what I made. Nice, we're gonna do Live Iver Spotlight right after Deal or No Deal, Elena. I'm checking, I will check for sure. Hell yes. <laughs> Thank you, Elena. Thank you, Bay. Chris, you're a redneck in training, boy. I like that, I'm a redneck in training. <laughs> Every room at Pro Dates, gee, that sounds strange. Oh yeah. No, pronating is the way you... <laughs> King knows. He's a trainer. Croc kills too. <laughs> Did anyone here ever buy a pair of outlaw boots? If so, thoughts. I've never, I've never bought a pair of outlaw boots. I don't have anything against regular shoes. I like wearing DC shoes, but they don't do well when they're wet. DC still makes shoes, dude? They're still around? No way. Interesting. Jaden was racing a 600 pound woman in the snow that day. <laughs> Jaden, you're getting heat on you, bro. <laughs> Yeah, just let me know, dude. Um, I have my email address down in the in the description as well. Just email it to me, brother. Brandon says, give me the shrooms. He wants to be enlightened. Alright, we got one for shrooms. 
I've tried shrooms twice, really, and both times I've just felt really high. I guess now, no, I guess you want to know how you're going to die. If you take a low amount of them, you will feel high. You'll make it feel like you're high. You have to take a certain amount to actually get the effects, the therapeutic side effects from it. But Robert says, no, well, I wouldn't, I would hate I would hate to know how I'm gonna die because then you're gonna be worried about it. You're gonna be stressed. Like say, say you find out that you're gonna die by a heart attack. You'll probably change your diet. You'll probably start eating healthier, right? But regardless, you're still gonna die from a heart attack, bro. It's really gonna be able to tell the future. It could be a jump scare. That would might you put you down. Could have a heart attack in the bedroom if you know what I mean. That'd be a good way to go. <laughs> but that's crazy. I would never want to know how I'm gonna die. I would not. I would say give me the shroom cheese. Even though you guys already know what I'm gonna pick. Shrooms, baby! Adrian Shrooms. I wanna see where we're at with this one. Adrian says, know how to die. No. NC said it. NC says, know how to die. Give me those Liberty Caps. Yeah, that's a, that's a, they, those grow. First off, I think those might grow in Washington, but I do know they're really big in Europe. Liberty Caps. Oh, crap. Give me those shrooms, Jaden. I'd rather trip on shrooms and be enlightened for sure. Fat Ren X his shrooms. That sounds like a question inspired by the UK TV show, Red Dwarf. I'd rather shroom out. <laughs> I don't know who Red Dwarf is, but that sounds cute. Chris, you're like Robert. You look Mexican, but you're a white boy. What am I? What am I, guys? First off, you guys are vibing with us and haven't done so. Like the video, drop a like. Elizabeth, I'm actually half Mexican. I'm half Mexican. My mom's white, my dad's Mexican. But I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> I don't know. My eye cut. My mom has green eyes. I have like light brown eyes. My dad has brown eyes. My hair is light brown when I had it. <laughs> my dad's hair was darker, dark brown. <laughs> but if I look Mexican, it's because I am Mexican. Born and raised here, though. <laughs> Trip. I try to le live every day like my last by doing stuff I enjoy. Out of boy, Mason. Know how to die. <laughs> Cross fingers, old age. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gregory Shrooms. K9 says Shrooms. We got a bunch of psychonauts here. That's what they call people who regular. We call them psychonauts. Of course, King. Of course. Fungi for sure. Trent, know how you're going to die. That's scary, dude. Trip on shoes, never tried it yet. But you've tried peyote, right, Ninja? Very similar, I hear. Believe it or not, marijuana. Marijuana is a psychedelic. It really is. It's categorized as a psychedelic, if you guys don't know. <laughs> you never know who's watching, Logan. Great answer, my friend. My three-year-old was DC's. I, dude, I used to wear DC's in high school. When I, I was a skater in high school. I didn't, I've never seen anyone around wear DC's. But that's cool, man. DC's, Globe, Etnies, Vans, all these skateboarding shoes. I love them. That's cool they're still making DC's. Get with a shaman that can teach you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Preferably a shaman, dude, for sure. A really good trip city. 
Hell yeah, GC's still around. They made snow boots now for snowboarders. Hell yes. I've seen those. I've seen the snowboarding ones. I had some dope, dope, dope snowboarding boots. Some Vans checkered all over. I miss those boots. Microdose, yes. <laughs> yes. Most of you guys. I may know where seven pounds of Liberty Caps are. Ooh, he's a psycho knot. <laughs> yes. I'll I'll check, Jay man. I'll check, brother. Yeah, well, yeah, some some do, not all. But um some strains, I guess you would call them strains, are conducive to the environment that uh, they're in. Like in Florida, they have specific species of fungi that you can get here. But like certain states, like Washington, Oregon, bro. People live in the Northwest, bro, where it rains a lot. A lot. Plenty. Renee says, know how I die so I can live. <laughs> so is Robert. His mom is Mexican and his dad is white. We're mixed, bro. We're mixed, Robert. <laughs> what do they call? Do they call you Roberto or Robert? Stem and caps for <laughs> yes. Dark Hill knows. Dark Hills knows. My uncle Cedro is Mexican. Cedro, Cedro or Cedro? I think it's Cedro. Sometimes you pronounce Cedro Y S I D R O. But right on shrooms. I think Renee wanted to know how to die. Yeah, we're. I'm not keeping Ashton. What's up, Ashton? He's saying shroomies. Uh, we know Ashton's in Cyclonaut. Know how to die or when you'll die. That's a tough one, JD. I would want to know how, not when. The when, if anyone knew when they were going to die, you wouldn't live your life the way it's supposed to be lived you wouldn't know your purpose you'd be screwed i don't care if you're gonna die in 20 years every day multiple times a day that's gonna cross your mind and i think that would have a lot of psychological you would need to do shrooms in order to get honestly you would need to do shrooms to get how you know you're gonna die you might as well just do shrooms you're going to need some shroom trips to calm your freaking head, your brain. Yes, edibles will give you a psychedelic experience if you do enough. Absolutely. Osiris, yeah. Hell yeah. I remember Osiris's dude. Yes, sir. Get with the shaman who does shrooms. I love wearing my DC and my DVSs. Yes, DVSs. That's another shoe brand. Dark Hills, I love seeing little kids in cool shoes. We have a baby about to turn two years old. Yes. My little brother Andy gets um, my little niece little Vans. It's so cute when little babies have like these small ass Vans shoes, dude. The classics too. But that's awesome. If shrooms grow in cow patties. No wonder cows act like they're stoned out of their minds. <laughs> dude, cows are vibing, bro. Cows are just chilling, dude. Truffles mushroom. Yeah, I never tried truffles. Never tried truffles. Oh, that's a little fast on a skateboard, my friend. That's a little fast, bro. Elizabeth, I have two granddaughters that are two. Oh, dude, kids when they're like two, three years old, they're so damn adorable. Good luck on your run, Mason. Thank you for stopping by, brother. My wife is Mexican, Craig says. Hell yeah, bro. Last time I was on shrooms, I went for a drive. Oh my God. <laughs> how, bro, how? I can't leave my freaking, that's crazy. Okay, and it felt like it was tiny and everything looked huge to me. <laughs> Distortion, bro, I like, I was driving on a Monopoly, it was like I was driving on a Monopoly board. It was so much fun. <laughs> Dark Hills, you were playing Mario Kart in real life. You were driving on a freaking rainbow, my friend. <laughs> oh, my mom is the only one who calls his Roberto, and she loves him, and he can't do anything wrong in her eyes. It's all my fault. Of course. 
of course. It's funny how mothers baby their kids. I saw it. <laughs> I saw it very recently. Get her done, Derek. Here in Texas, stream grow in cow patties a lot. Psilocybin cubensis. Yep. You're just going to have... Dude, it's... It's so easy to grow, dude. I'm just throwing that out there. Aw. Oh, green. Robert, post a pic of with your girls today. <laughs> Do it. Absolutely, Brandon. We're going right now. All right, guys. Thank you. Dude, I love these Would You Rathers. We get to learn so much about each other. I effing love this vibe. Every Wednesday is going to be Would You Rather. Dip it. I think next week we're going to play Would You Rather. We'll call it Dip Edition just because we get people to come in. But it can anything goes. I love this question by King. I love talking and, and, and sometimes we got to dive deep, like knowing how you can die. How will that affect you mentally? I like these things that we can get to dissect and really get different perspectives from the live vibers and me. It's awesome. I love it. But you guys know what time it is. You guys know what time it is. It is deal or no deal. My goodness, an hour and a half. In already? I hope you have time for subscriber spotlight, live viber spotlight, which you will. I'll make time. You guys submit your, if you want to share photos, submit them now. No more resubmitting, especially after we show in your photos and you come back and want to send more. This is a one and go. Holy shit, look at these numbers go. K9, we're picking K9's case. He was the first one. K9 has a lot of good luck on Deal or No Deal. You guys remember at the beginning, he would always be disqualified. I got my little blue book. I got my little blue book. Even though we broke our record yesterday, you're, this is still a permanent uh, DQ book. Adrian, Logan, Brittany, Trent, Brian, Steelman, Craig, Noah, Bassman, Jaden, NC, and Ninja Bear have all been disqualified. Before, I just want to make a tally of which one has the worst luck. Which one has the most DQs. That's all. Keeping score here. But you guys know the deal. We got a new kitty table here for Season 3. This is our kitty table. If you guys weren't here yesterday, we got Justin running. This is the Brittany and Elena table. Hufflepuff sticker, a can of uh, Sistroming, which is a delicacy. K9 left his jar of mayo here, so you guys have mayo and Sistroming. There's some shit balls, um, dirty socks, because sometimes we do sock. And uh, a nice, friendly uh, other pet here. We got a camel, because uh, Farquaad's definitely afraid of camels. And here at the big table, really quick. We got strippers now, dude. And we got Raymond putting out fires. Even Dark Hills sent a mount in. He got a skull mount in. We got it up there. We got some delicious brisket or pulled pork by Logan. We got some dip cans. But basically, we eat whatever the hell we want. We get to enjoy ourselves. And that is the big table. Anything over $500,000, you automatically get DQ'd, which is only three. Three people. We only play one game now. One game per live vibe. Who was it? Uh, K9 pick case number 18. That'll be our case that we're going to pick and this hold on to. to Remember, we do not swap. If we go, to decide vendor. to go all the Round way to the one. end, Choose we keep case. the case. And for this reason, if it's a shitty case, we could all make fun of K9 because he picked it. Robert, 22. You started off, bro. Do us good, Robert, or Roberto. Nice one. Robert with a $5 case. Oh. Can his wife do any better than $5? Doubtful. She has no way she can get the $1 case. Excellent. Ooh, 50 grand. It's not bad. <laughs> I knew you weren't going to beat it. Robert, that's bragging rights, bro, right there. You can brag about that for Valentine's Day, your wife. NC Rocker 23. A hundred thousand. Not good. Not good, but not bad. Again, not bad. Jason, number 12. Let's do this, baby. 
One dollar. All right, we're a lot better than yesterday, guys. We were sucking yesterday, and we still managed to get two hundred twenty-four thousand dollars. That is our record. We got to beat today, guys. Two hundred twenty-four. If if we get any offer that's above that offer, it goes to you guys. You guys are the deciding factors. Adrian, twenty-six. Let's do this, baby. Adrian Hufflepuff, my friend. Not the best case. Dark Hills, case number five. Let's do this. Oh, oh shit! Dark Hills drops the first domino. Let him have it, live vibe. Dark Hills. Deal. You blew it! And Dark Hills, I am sorry, but oh, you're actually gonna be my little blue book, my friend. That hurts. I don't like putting a name on here, Dark Hills. You're a good dude, bro, but uh, I hope you enjoy the kitty table. I hope you enjoy it. Watch out for the ship bows underneath the table. <laughs> no, Dark Hills. No. Everyone's going to be on this damn list. Anyone that plays at one point or another is gonna be on this list. Dark Hills, my brother from another mother. No, not you. Anyone but you. I kind of feel the same way. I kind of feel the same way. <laughs> Damn it, Dark Hills. Easy, Adrian. Your case wasn't any better. Well, it was better, but it wasn't, you know. You didn't pull the freaking $5 case like Roberto did. Damn, Dark Hills, first time. <laughs> Dark Hills has been in the kitty table before. It's been a while. I hope so too, K9. I hope so too. Dark brother, why? <laughs> Dark Hills, no. Dark Hills. Dark Hills, the kitty table, my brother. <laughs> Dark Hills, why? Oh shit, Brian, sir. What's up, Brian? Uh, balls. <laughs> All right, guys, who's next? Who's up next? We got... Oh, shit, a lot of you guys are participating. This is awesome. All right, let's see. We got 19. Let's hope she's as sweet as she is hot. Our offer, first offer was 28K. Deny. No deal. Time for the next round. Come on, redhead. Be good to us tonight. She's good. See, Logan, stick to one girl. Stick to one girl and you'll be fine. Well, right now she's batting like 800, dude. That's not bad. That redhead's good, dude. Elena, you can read my date out loud. So if anyone wants to know, they can hear about it. Awesome, Elena. We'll do. We'll do. I'm glad I got your permission because I wasn't going to read it out loud until you said that. Cool. Uh, Matt, Matt Hardman, 16. Let's do it, Matt. Oh, no. No, Matt. Matt. No, Matt. No. <laughs> Let him have it, guys. Matt's new here. Newer. I don't think it's his first live vibe, but let him have it. Matt. Nathan, call 911. You picked the worst case. Now we know for a fact that we are not going to get a million dollars. But we can still break our record. That's why I'm not giving you too hard of a time, Matt. But Matt, let me introduce you to Dark Hills. Two chairs. You guys at least get a chair for now. But it's going to be... Well, one person is going to have to probably sit underneath that table on top of the ship house. But I hope you like mayonnaise. Or better yet, some nice fermented stroming. That's what you're. That's the only thing you got to eat, bro. That's the only thing you got to eat. We're eating barbecue out here at the big table. Call Nathan. Oh, we called Nathan. <laughs> Adrian, so am I, brother. Don't take what I'm saying seriously. I'm just giving you shit, dude. Damn it, Mark. Matt says. Oh, I gotta put Matt's name down on my blue book. Matt, you're in my blue book now, bro. Hardman. Matt H. <laughs> 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 
you really pissed off Elizabeth, Matt. She was like, it's Valentine's Day. Me and my hubby are vibing tonight. And we're going to win the million dollar case. And Matt just pulled it. Boo, Sleppy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Matt, you ruined Val <laughs> You ruined Valentine's Day, Matt. You ruined it. Hufflepuff. <laughs> I like that, JD. You witty ass bastard. Matt, why? Damn it, man. Park the motorcycle, Matt. Sit in the kitty table. <laughs> Matt, you get the whole jar of mayo. <laughs> Hufflepuff, no, Matt. Matt, good sir. That's not it. <laughs> we ain't getting a milli. <laughs> I knew someone was gonna get it. Matt, what have you done? Welcome. Got an open seat for you. <laughs> You're a Carol Baskin ninja set. <laughs> He did pull the one million dollar case, so I think it's appropriate to actually play this clip. I am never gonna financially recover from this. We're not. The live vibe will never financially recover from this. Never. Might as well get comfy at this table. There you go, Matt. <laughs> Matt, this is Dark Hills. Dark Hills, this is Matt. Take a seat, Matt. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going up again on this list here. This is great. No thanks. We're not going to watch it. Where did we left leave off of uh, Green 7? Let's go, baby. $10 green. Look at that. He uses metal detecting skills to pick out the case. Kingfisher 6. Only one more person could go to the kitty table, guys. Excellent. And it's not King. With a size 17 boots. Craig, number. F oh, Craig, so I'm sorry, bro. They gotta pick another one, dude. What's up, Brian? I'm going to eat the damn squirrel. <laughs> Agent, you're not at the kitty table, my friend. You're good. Brandon picking his. Oh, Brandon, 16 is taken. I'm scared of snakes. Ooh, we might have to put a snake in that kitty table. Farquad, nine. Let's go, Farquad. 500 Farquad, you're the man, brother. You're the man. Hell yes, Farquad, with your Alf Camel mask on. This offer is going to be denied, on, and it is forty-one thousand dollars. No deal. That's the spirit. Time for the next round. Grayson, do us good, bud. Not the seven fifty, dude. Oh. oh, that hurt. That still hurt. Oh, that hurt. Ow, Grayson. Not Q. Not Q. <laughs> oh god <laughs> 24 CD alright you got it Brian nice one alright Brian I'm not getting a good feeling here hey let's change that positivity let's, let's make it high baby high ah oh, balls <laughs> Never get to pick the first case, so I pick one. <laughs> All right, Trent, you're picking one. You can pick the first case tomorrow, bro. $15, Trent. Attaboy. Raymond, Raymond's participating tonight. Hell yes, 15, Raymond. Come on, Raymond. Yes. Hell yes. That's why Raymond's always vibing at the big table, dude. He's got to put out those fires. That's I tell you, nice if the kitty table goes on fire, I'm telling Raymond, do not put it out, bro. Do not. It's the kitty table. Um, 55,000. All right, guys. So let's just look at, let's look at this grid here really quick. We got a lot on the right, which is good. We still got the 750. 200. Once that $750,000 case gets pulled, we are royally. You know what I mean? We are. Because our record is 224, and they're not gonna give us a higher bid than 224. So everyone can blame K9. 
but K9 is using his juju and he's saying that he picked the $750,000 $750, case, so no deal. we'll see where we go. Time for the next round. Brandon, he's picking the redhead. Brandon, I know you're new here, bro, but be careful with these ones, dude. They'll break your heart. Excellent. Not tonight. Yes. Yes. What do we got? What do we got here? I'm trying to see if there's anyone new. <laughs> Jaden, have you picked a case yet? I'm not sure, but I'm picking your I'm picking your case, dude. Oh darn. No, Jaden! You just ruined it! You ruined it, Jaden! Oh, Jaden, you're already on my list. You guys let let Jaden have it, dude. He screwed it up. And Tiger King needs to play. Man, man, we're gonna find an inch to recover from this. You blew it! <laughs> Jaden, Jaden, Jaden. I think you're tied now. No, yeah, you're tied with the most DQs. Two. Thank you, Jaden. Everyone thank Jaden for us not breaking our record. I'm not going to say we're going to break our record low because I don't like to break that record, but our record high, not tonight, boys. Not tonight. We could all thank Dark Hills, Matt, and Jaden for that. <laughs> no, Jaden. Jaden, how are you supposed to be my date <laughs> if you're spending the night on the kitty table? That's right. That is absolutely right. You guys are, you three are going to be stranded with a jar of mayonnaise and a camel with a cute squirrel. And, um,. Justin's gonna be running laps around the kitty table all night just because he's there. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, Dark Hill says, Jaden, no, why? Hufflepuff Jaden. <laughs> F me. <laughs> Renee, why no? <laughs> why, Jaden? I'm Chris Hansen from Daylight and NBC, and I'm doing a story of people who get disqualified. <laughs> Ninja throwing in those jabs. We have some witty people in the live vibe, dude. Witty and funny effing live vibers. You guys are my people. No, Jaden, K9 says. Yeah, K9. He just picked the case that you claimed you pick. I don't know where that's going to go, bro. <laughs> you see? Jaden, you ruined Valentine's Day, brother. Shit bowls and shit balls. Oh man. Jaden, I don't know what to say. I'm not mad at you, Jaden. I'm just disappointed in you, dude. <laughs> Alright, who's got it? Who's next? K9, 25. Alright, buddy. We're gonna give you this one. Alright, K9. You're good. I really hope you at least pick a $200,000 case. Banker, you can do better than that. Twenty-six thousand. <laughs> no way. Now. No deal. No. Time no. For the next round. Mason one is taken, my friend. I gotta save the squirrel. Okay. If you have to light a fire off at the kitty table, save the squirrel, save the camel, warn Justin. But the people who get um, you know. Dark Hills, Matt, and Jaden. If they catch on fire, just yell, tuck and roll, dude. Tuck and roll as you're saving the squirrel and the camel. You yank the camel behind you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Save that squirrel, dude. Millie's a G, bro. He's a G. Is Millie? Do we have a female squirrel or a male squirrel? Let us know. <laughs> Craig, 13. Let's do it. Hufflepuff! Craig! That's not a DQ case, but that was the worst one to pick, my friend. 
We are so screwed. We are going to break our live by blow, aren't we? Trent, 20. Nice 750, not bad, not bad. All right, guys. I think, I think. That's okay, $12,000, guys, 12000 Deal or no deal, this goes to you. Our record low is 184. So we're breaking a record today. We're, we are 100% breaking our record low. Son of a Hufflepuff. <laughs> no, you gotta, you, you can't take anything over there, bro. You can't take shit. Valentine's Day sock. <laughs> Liz, at least there is mama juice. Yeah, at the big table, there's mama juice. Elena. Shit pies. Green keep away from the damn squirrel. <laughs> What's he going to do? Is he going to smoke it? <laughs> well, guys, I am dateless for Valentine's Day again. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm your date, Logan. Trust me. This is a bro date, dude. We are bro dating at the light pipe. I went over there really quick, broke the kitty table, and brought the Slim G's <laughs> for blowing it. <laughs> uh, stiff socks. Oh, God. You guys know what that means, right? Are those socks, they stiff? <laughs> no deal, huh? No deal. You guys just want to go all the way. All right, screw it. No deal. You came here no deal. We want that 75000 Elena, case four. We're going with Elena. First case tonight, Elena. Nice one. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It wasn't a 75000 We should get a better offer, though. All right, guys. Deal or no deal? The offer is... That's a pretty nice offer. 12000 again. 12175 The last one was 12000 something. But this one, I think it might might have been lower. Twelve thousand. I just round it down. Twelve k. Twelve k. Deal or no deal. You guys, there's only one case that's bigger than twelve k, and I highly suggest you think about this one. I highly suggest you think about this one. <laughs> that gray ranger. What's up, dude? Welcome to Live Vibe. He's saying no deal. No deal, NC. Logan, me and you and Bay. <laughs> no, Brandon, you are not disqualified, my friend. You're good to go. You're at the big table, brother. You pulled a big case, but it wasn't 500 or more, buddy. You're good, Brandon. <laughs> Sorry, Logan. Thanks, Chris. Since Jaden decided to be a turd and get disqualified, <laughs> no deal. I didn't blow nothing. <laughs> Logan. <laughs> Logan, I'm also dateless, so don't feel bad. You guys aren't date. I'm your date, bro. Look at this. Look at this 41-year-old body here, bro. This is all yours to enjoy. You can see. You can't just can't touch. You guys got me, bros. The table is pretty. <laughs> it's pretty full, fellas. Nuts to butts, y'all. Nuts to butts. <laughs> no deal. I was set up, Logan. <laughs> no deal. No deal. No deal, Renee. No deal, Matt. No, Trent. You guys are K9, the only reasonable one here. If you ain't first, you're last. No deal. Okay. Dark Hills cuddle up with me, the with a squirrel to stay warm. There's a camel there, bro. You vibe with the camel. NC and K9 both said deal, but majority wins, guys. No deal. No deal. That's the spirit. Time for the next round. All right, whose case number are we gonna pick? JD, 17 JD. <laughs> That's not a DQ, but I gotta play this one. This That's makes perfect nice sense song. right now. I am never gonna financially recover from this. Never. Uh. You guys ready for our offer? Let me 
edit this text. I'm gonna I'm gonna write up what her offer is. Can anyone guess what her offer is? <laughs> this is embarrassing, dude. You guys really fucked up my Valentine's Day, guys. <laughs> Our offer is... I gotta write the money symbol down on this because there's no commas or anything. $79, guys. That's our offer. Deal or no deal. Record low. <laughs> deal or no deal. $79, which means the best we can get. There's still two cases there that are above $79. Um, really quick, we could all thank um, K9 for this. K9, you literally picked a $200 or below case, my friend. And my guess is you picked a $25 case. <laughs> No, no. Close, green, close. $26, best man, close. I still have my Grizz Green out of boy, Jade. <laughs> I'm taking it away from you, by the way. No, Matt, not even close, brother. Not even close. No, 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 no deal. Elena says, deal, 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 no deal. <laughs> I love it, NC Rocker. I love her, brother. No deal. Let's go for 69. It's Valentine's Day. <laughs> hey, I'm your date, bro. What are you talking about? 69. No, you guys. Off to the sport. No, no, no. The sport is with me, guys. And no, my sport's not worth $79. It just ain't. It ain't worth $79. It's probably worth $7,900. <laughs> How can we sock again? <laughs> Most of you guys are saying no deal. You guys want to go no for it deal. all. That's the spirit. Time for the next round. All right. Um, I don't know if anyone's picked any of these numbers. But J-Man picked 11. All right, J-Man. Let's do it. That's what we like to see. You sons of bitches. It's going to go even lower. <laughs> Pretty nice offer. Oh, it went up. It went up, peeps. It went up. Again, you guys gotta let me know. It went up by a lot. A full two fucking dollars. <laughs> 81. 81 dollars, guys. Take it or leave it. Oh my god, really? Live vibe, live vibe, live vibe. If you guys are here vibing with us and haven't done so, like the video. I know most of you guys already have, but there's some people. We get some stragglers. $81. Oh, Farquad, don't don't escape this one, bro. Don't escape this one. Deal or no deal, guys. I think we take the deal, bros. Oh my god, really? You guys really want <laughs> You know what? <laughs> JD, no deal. No deal. What's up, Kyle? What's up, Michael? No deal by Gregory. No deal, Ninja. That yes, Cougar and Levi. All right, I think we got more no deals, guys. Who said deals? K9 said deal, Elena says deal. Green says deal, everyone else. Michael said deal. Oh, deal for Grayson, no deal. All right, we go to the end. No deal. We go for the 200. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me see how many no deals there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, God. We suck, yes. We're going all the way. There's more no deals. For the money. Time for the next round. Um, I don't even know. I know someone picked case number 10. Who was it? We are going, bro. We're going for the biscuits and the gravy, baby. Who 
Who picked 10? I'm scrolling all the way up. All right, guys, which which case should we pick? Somebody said so first person submit to 10 or 21. It's done. <laughs> NC thinks we have $200 case. I don't know. I don't know. If I were to pick one of these girls, I don't know. Brandon. All right, Brandon. Please pick the 25 or the 50. Of course. <laughs> Wrong case, Brandon, but it's okay, buddy. It's okay. That's a pretty nice offer. $34, folks. I'm just going to say no deal. At this point, we just go all the way. At this point, guys, we go all no the way. No deal. Final decision. Which case has the higher dollar amount? Your original case or the final unopened case? Well, everyone, please use this time to thank um, K9 for picking... A really shitty case. <laughs> Here we go. We're staying with 18. You guys know the rules. Okay, you're hanging on to your original case. Let's see what you got. I effing knew it, K9! I freaking knew it, dude! K9! <laughs> Record low, folks. Record low, $25. Our record low yesterday was 184 grand. $25. K9, thank you, buddy. We can't even buy a roller cougar. Oh, yeah, we can. Jaden. Dark Hills. Matt. Get comfy, boys. You're staying overnight at the kitty table. Enjoy it. While us suckers are still vibing at the big table. <laughs> oh, that was horrible, guys. That was horrible, but I had a blast. I always have a blast. I always have a blast. <laughs> Live vibe. <re> <laughs> Great job, K9. Breaking records. Hell yeah. High five, K9. Season 3 record low. Let's go. I need some clear eyes for sure. <laughs> K9, you did great. <laughs> K9, you socked this case up, bro. Regardless, still free money. Got a boy, Kyle, to get some dip. Great job, K9, Raymond says. K9, you're the champ. Not. $25 is better than nothing? Yeah. I can see that. I'll take 25 over nothing. <laughs> K9 the GOAT? Shoot! I guess you broke our record at least. We did. Y'all did. I do that. Y'all, did I do that? Yeah, you did. You picked it. A slow clap for K9 <laughs> Grayson. <laughs> Damn. Low five K9, low five. <laughs> Can't win them all. Out of boy, Brandon. We sock. Yeah, we got the socks are under the table. That's why I put them there, guys. That's why the socks are there. That's why the socks are there. Cause sometimes, guys, we just sock sometimes. That's all. I believe so too, K9. I believe so too. All right, guys. Time for Live Virus Spotlight. Live Vibers Spotlight is a place where you can DM me your photos if you want to share with anyone. If you want to share with the Live Vibe. Um, let me set it up. Jaden's vibing first. We're going to highlight Jaden, guys. He sent the elusive. It's elusive here in Florida. I still can't find it. And I can't wait for the day I find that game. Levi Garrett. Live vibing. He's ready. He's chatting it up. That looks so dope. He's got some Outlaw Killer Vanilla. What else you got? Outlaw. Dude. That wintergreen. Don't sleep on Outlaw Wintergreen, dude. That flavor is so good. 
The countdown. He's got the countdown up. Hell yes. Hell yes, Jaden. I appreciate you, man. Cummins. Ooh, that's cool. Fishing is my anger management. I remember you sending something like, or someone else said something like that. Well, this is an anger management thing. Oh, damn. This was like taken like, what, five minutes ago, dude. You're quick to that. <laughs> oh, it's muted. I effing knew it, K9. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I love you, K9. You know that. Thank you, Jaden, for sharing that. Enjoy the kitty table, my friend. Enjoy it. You can't have my phone number unless we running up the digits. Let me meditate. I just need a couple minutes. Trying to low on me. My car on is the big ass. Bitch, I get high. So, Elena. Oh, wow. Holy crap, Elena. That looks so sick. Elena's making me something really cool. Whoa. Chris dips one. How do you, how do you connect them? Elena, how'd you do that? That's beautiful, Elena. Elena's gonna send me this. If she wanna, dude, this is so sick, Elena. Is Elena here? Please tell me Elena's here. Sure did, and it's juicy as F. Hell yes. Jaden got my package. Oh, you got, dude, you guys are awesome. You guys are sharing shits, and oh, you guys are freaking lovely. I freaking love it. Elena, that is beautiful. And what did she say? She says sorry for missing last night. She ate and went to Home Depot, then drove by 7.30. I was asleep and couldn't wake up. I even set my alarm. But she says her date went well. I bought her a rose with some baby's breath, opened the door for her, and pulled out her chair. Elena, you swept her off her feet? I hope you did. Went to Longhorns for steaks. Hell yes. Dude, Elena had a great night last night, man. Elena, get it, girl, get it. And I don't want to, like, I, I read it. Some of these are, are, are personal, and I don't want to share but, let me go back up. Did I share her cat? I think I, yeah, I think I've shared your cat, Elena. Look at her nice little kitty. The cat, not the other kitty. <laughs> I'm talking about her nice, beautiful kitty. Thank you, Elena. That, that looks dope, Elena. I can't wait. I can't wait to get that. That's beautiful, and thank you. Thank you so much. That's awesome, Elena. Hell yes. Oh, super chat. Is it really? <laughs> it's one piece of copper? Ugh. Whoa. You're a badass. <laughs> You're a badass. And I'm pretty sure you work with that kind of stuff at work, but that's amazing. That is sick. I appreciate that, Elena. I really appreciate it. I thought it was copper. Nice. Hell yes. Tuxedo kitty for the win. Absolutely. Absolutely. Alright, who's next? We got... We got your boy. A supersized picture of Farquaad wearing his camo mask. A.K.A. Alf. <laughs> okay, bro. Why does the Alf nose look like a peepee? -pee? Does it, does it look like a big, you know what, to anyone else? Farquad, I love it. Don't change, bro. Don't change. Love your elf mask, brother. <laughs> and he sends a little selfie. Ooh, with a Shelby. A Shelby Cobra in the background. You look low as heck, if you know what I mean. You look low as heck, Farquad.
we got our boy, everyone knows K9. He sent some photos. It's not gonna story mode, so I gotta like hold hold it down. We just got Copenhagen, Wintergreen. Did I do that? <laughs> you did it, bro. You pulled the $25 case, K9. You pulled it, bro. Congrats. <laughs> Copenhagen Wintergreen. He always has different dips. Cougar straight, you see? K9 is a jack of all trades. He's a jack of all trades, dude. He dips it all. He doesn't give a shit. And he says that was a this photo, the this photo that he sent. That was his Valentine's Day selfie. <laughs> K9, you're good, brother. We good. You're my day too, bro. All right, who's next? Well, why did it get bigger all of a sudden? I don't know who's this. Hold on, let me go back. James? No, who's this? Shit, I just had to... Hold on. Derek wants to show you guys. Derek Reagan wants to show you guys what he's drinking. And he's got them course lights in. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. You're drinking all that, bro, by yourself? On Valentine's Day? Oh. On tonight. Does it, does it look like a big, you know what, to anyone else? <laughs> Bark bog. I love it. Don't change. I'll bro. drink five of you. I'm gonna leave him drunk. Derek, you're wasted, my friend. I hope you're okay, Derek. <laughs> Vibe on, brother. Vibe the hell I'm on. I'm drinking on tonight. Is it, is it look <laughs> Attaboy, Derek. Party on, bro. James has some AI stuff, right? James does the AI photos. Dude. This kind of looks like, no, I think it was a Ford. Does anyone know Back to the Future 2? What was the first one? Where he had a black truck. It was an older one. I think it was a Ford or a Chevy. I have some ALF plushies. That's surprising, Farquaad, because ALF is more an older generational thing. I didn't think ALF was, because you're pretty young. But, hey, man. Yeah, you're saying you're gone. Yeah, you look gone. But... Yeah, I didn't know Alf continued on. Either that or you're an old soul and you just loved all the Alf stuff. Kingfisher, Elena says, Kingfisher, my tuxedo max hole is the best. It looks like a good kitty. That's what she said, Chris. <laughs> I'm drinking, you're drinking the same thing Derek is, bro. <laughs> I don't care if I wake up hungover. Oh, bro, I hate hangovers, dude. Absolutely, John. What's up, John? Welcome to Live Eye, brother. But he still does. Yes, he does. As far as I'm concerned. As far as I know, yeah. And this is... Is this... Oh. So James also makes... James, you gotta let us know... Roblox. And he's got videos. James, DM me your, um, your channel name. And I'll, I, I gotta add you and I gotta add Derek to the bottom of my, uh, in, in the description. We can highlight your YouTube videos. You guys don't have to make dip videos. You guys are live vibers now. So I wanna support other live vibers. And I'll put your information down below. Thanks for sharing. Oh, nice. King, this is dope. This is dope. 
He's dipping that Longhorn pouch. I want to try Longhorn pouches, bro, badly. I'm gonna keep my eye out on them, dude. I'm loving, I'm loving these Cougar pouches, dude. I just can't find them. They're they're there. Rarely I can find uh, Cougar pouches, and when I do, I definitely buy it. But dude, dope photo. And I think there's one more he sent, and he's cooking. He is cooking. Okay, what kind of fish are these? Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm not a fisherman or know a lot about fishing, but those fishes look beautiful. That one to the right, dude, that's a girthy mother. <laughs> Cheers to Derek. Dude, Derek, you can't even choose. Derek is gone right now, dude. Derek is on another planet. Was it a Ford Atlanta? Thank you. It was a Ranger, right? Yes. It had that, that, that roll case. It had those cool, like circle lights the old school lights were on the top super dope it was a toyota it was a toyota no was it really a toyota i don't know did toyota make trucks back then i don't know derek eat some tendies <laughs> k9 how's it going brother it was a ford ranger i think yeah I, I don't know. <laughs> no, CD. He was drinking Coors Light. I'm drinking Coors Banquet. Oh, yeah. I forget. Sorry. Those are two different things. Those are two different things. My grandfather was Coors Banquet. It was his tan cans. I believe the banquet's the tan cans, right? My mother put me in an elf in my youth when I was in the kindergarten. I still like the show. boy. I loved elf, dude, growing up. I'm glad. I'll send you some. Yep, we just showed them, dude. Your fish. What kind of fish are those, dude? Coho sa Those are salmon. Coho salmons. Well, that's good eating, dude. I don't eat a lot of fish, but the fish I do eat is salmon. I like salmon, dude. Good shit. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you, King. Thank you for sharing, brother. Let's see where we at now. Who's next? Who's next? Dipper Legend, of course. My man, J Man. Oh my god. The I crack up. This is probably one of the best video clips too. Alright guys, I'm gonna have to mute this. But here we go, J Man. J Man, you're very talented, dude. Like, you're, I don't know how you do this shit, but uh, I appreciate First off, J-Man, you don't have to always make these, bro. Like, you're making a lot of content for, for, for the live vibe, and I feel bad. Like, you don't feel like you have to, but thank you, and I appreciate you uh, making these, dude. Patrick, guess what came in the mail today? Oh, what? Yes. Stick it in! <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys notice the squirrel? Patrick, first. Guess what came in the mail today? <laughs> Stick it in! Stick it in, baby! Does Kayak Peach video tonight for Hell yeah, do it! Dude, this is so great, dude. Look at this next one. I hope you guys don't get pissed off when that happens. <laughs> when do you guys get disqualified? Just know it's fun in games, bro. I think it has a privilege to be disqualified. Oh, J-Man, I love that so much, dude. <laughs> I would never wear that. The hat, I would, because I'm a big Michael Jackson fan. That kind of reminds me of a Michael Jackson hat. But yes. We slayed the hell out. Well, of course you slayed them, bro. You're a king. <laughs> it's me. That's why. Okay. So, NC Rocker is your YouTube channel. James, just send me the link, brother. Send me the link, bro. I'll copy and paste it for sure. I fish off a of portage in Michigan City. Hell yes. <laughs> I 
have fun making stuff for the live vibe. Hey, if you have fun, then dude, like this shit is just amazing. J-Man, keep them up, bro. They are amazing. Hell yes, they are. I wouldn't say I'm a pimp, dude. <laughs> I wish my arms looked like that. The hair, not so much. I like my bald hair. And I actually like the grays now, so. But that's fun. I don't know. I don't know how he does it. <laughs> See, that's the thing, too. I would never want to be that big. That takes a lot of maintenance. That takes a lot of maintenance. You got to eat a shit ton. <laughs> Why do I look so serious, dude? I look cool. All right, the elf, right? I do like Lord of the Rings, even though this is not Lord of the Rings. But I look elvish. And that's crazy because that's my eyes right there. That's not my eyebrows. My eyebrows aren't that thick, but those are my eyes. That's my nose and mouth. That's... <laughs> Bro, I look like a preppy nerd. <laughs> Attaboy, Green. Oh, I love these. <laughs> this looks like... Is this Fortnite? Is this... It kind of re reminds me of the skin of like Fortnite. Yeah, they will, Robert. They will. They will say they're fake. It's not. That, that's me, bro. Bulge and all. <laughs> it's my Funko Pop. That looks like a Michael Jackson jacket, by the way, which is really cool. This is my Funko Pop. I like this one, dude. I save all these, dude. You guys are freaking awesome, dude. <laughs> Those are straight beard lines, though, dude. That's cool. Chris Dip one live vibes. Hell yes. Jesus died for. <laughs> is that a real flag? Are people actually selling that flag? That is actually funny, dude. That is hilarious. Did you create this, J Man, or is this something you found online? And by the way, he's got coffee. Jesus died for our sins. That's hilarious. This is cool. It's like goosebumps, dude. Goosebumps font. <laughs> I can and smoke fish for the winter spring summer is the pastime of mine hell yes very cool J-Man love it but I agree with Robert haters will say that shit's fake dude but it ain't it ain't <laughs> is that a that's a bunny that's a bunny spray paint very artsy I like that one What the fuck is that? <laughs> is that that's Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> How? I don't like that hairstyle. Not for me. That looks like Jennifer Aniston though. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> me and Taylor Swift. I'm like her 8,000th boyfriend. Oh, trust me. She's going to sing plenty of fucking love songs about me, bro. <laughs> yes, Elena. <laughs> I want to see you on Funko Pop. <laughs> Someone 3D print one. Hey, if any of you guys know 3D printing, that'll be hilarious. But me and Taylor Swift, I never thought I'd see the day. Oh, <laughs> I haven't seen these new ones. <laughs> No way, bro. No way. I think we'd make a good couple. Except this chick is probably like five foot ten. <laughs> Not being a Swifty. Hey. She's hot. I ain't kicking her out of my bed, bro. I'm not kicking her out of my bed. I'm just saying. Bro, next time I visit my brother in Washington, King, I'm going to hit you up, brother. My brother lives in Lacey, Tacoma area. Dude, I know. They're great. J-Man's a freaking beast, dude. Thank you, J-Man. You rock, brother. You rock. J-Man's talented as shit, dude. Ooh, JD, man. 
JD's got a homemade wood stove for the garage, bro. Bro, you made that? Dude. Do you guys like like the the wood stove like pizzas? Is that what they call them? Wood stove pizzas? I forgot what's the name it was. It was really cool. Chris, my wife is five foot eleven. Hey, I've dated plenty of girls that were taller than me, five nine. I've never five nine's the tallest, a couple inches, but that's about it. I have no, dude. I am not insecure about my height whatsoever. I don't give a shit. I, don't, I like climbing trees, bro. I like climbing trees. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm. Five foot seven without shoes. With shoes, I'm five foot eight, but my true height is five foot seven. <laughs> and I'm proud of that. I'm proud of myself. Thanks, Lydia. You're more awesome, though. <laughs> stone oven. Was it stone oven? Elena, thank you. Thank you for responding. JD, bitching, dude. Freaking bitching. Who's next? Who's next? I got Robert. Robert's up on deck. Aww, what a lovely family photo, Robert and Elizabeth. Look at you guys. Family photo on Valentine's. And I love that you guys all celebrate as a family. That's cute as hell, dude. Hell yes. Robert, Elizabeth, thank you for sharing. You have a beautiful family. But damn. Three kids, huh? That's a handful, guys. That's why uh, Elizabeth likes the mama juice. I get it. I get it. <laughs> and twisted teas. <laughs> and twisted teas. Chris, that's not that short. No, I know. It's, it's, it's not that short. <laughs> Green with envy. He's 5'3. He's Jesse's height. Jesse's like 5'3, 5'4. K9. We're about the same height, brother. Hell yeah, dude. Short people power squad, bro. We are power squad. Renee, we're Americans here, bro. We don't do centimeters. <laughs> I don't know how tall that is. <laughs> Derek, you're, you're taller than me. Farquaad, I'm 5'2 with boots on. I'm an inch higher. Hell <laughs> yes. Rob, Liz, and the three kids' names. Yeah, what are the three kids' names? That's a great photo, Robert and Elizabeth. Age is a tall mother effer. Hey, CD, you should get cowboy boots. You will grow at least three inches. <laughs> no, dude. Mm -mm. It's like saying wear double socks so you can be taller. No, thank you. Robert and Liz, thank you so much for sharing. Beautiful photo. Let's see who's next. Whoa. What the F, Raymond? I don't like seeing this, Raymond, but this is... Uh, when you get hurt at work and they won't let you have any dip, hospital is a joke. This is a picture of freaking, um, of, uh, Raymond getting re severely hurt. I don't know if those are burn scrapes, but damn, dude. Raymond, you're a badass mother effer, dude. You're, was this when you got that injury? When you effed up your, was it your ACL? If you're here, Raymond, I think you're, you're working. But Raymond, bro, take care of yourself, brother. Take care of yourself, Raymond. Raymond also sent some... He sent this. Those guys, those are Zins. Nails. Zin Nails. That's how big the Zin craze is, brother. People are doing shit on this. What? What that is? It looks with like maybe Kodiak or something. Oh, it's Zen. It's Zen. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're going with Zen, John. No, it's not. And you know, we're not really sponsored by this Zin. Is a Fox what I will show. say, Zen cinnamon. Yeah. Yep. If you want to, if you want the kind of non-tobacco taste, <laughs> it's Zen cinnamon. There is no tobacco in that. <laughs> it's. No, I don't know. Yeah. But I'm it's just saying just it's good for nicotine. pets. It's good for your aunt, whoever. Yes. It's That's right. Your aunt would love it. Is the government behind this? It almost feels like. When will a news 
channel ever film anything like this and them bringing up you know zen wanting to ban it i think it's like an indirect like hey it's newsworthy just to buy more zen do you know what i mean that's how you start to think it's weird elizabeth aubrey is our first oh how do you pronounce that Am amya and adeline is the second one amya and Adeline, those are, first off, they're all with an A. Any significance of that? Aubrey, Amia, and a Adeline. I hope I'm pronouncing those names right. Those are beautiful names. Robert, you're tall, bro. Anyone taller than me is, I consider tall. <laughs> Still rocking the hat in the hospital, my dude. Hell yes. <laughs> Zen is everywhere. Yeah, I know. I know. 75 milligrams right to the fucking bloodstream, right to the skull, right to the cranium. Just put it in, bro. Bro, just put in the 75 MG Super Duper Looper Hershey Park tech. Hershey they Park made a roller coaster off great. of this pouch. Remember Aaron Hernandez's brain. Remember his CAT scan. <laughs> Remember Be Happy by Dixie D'Amelio? Sing that shit in your head right now, bro. Come on. <laughs> there we go. She's kind of washed now. You're the real... Oh, God. Interesting. Very interesting, dude. Oh, we showed these last time. Dude, Raven, I love you. If you check back on here, brother. I love you, brother. Stay safe, dude. What the hell did Raven send me? Raven sent me this one. Not Raven. Ray Ray. This entire bucket was $110. What? What's supposed to be the bone inside is a pretzel infused with chocolate. That's ice cream? I ate all the chicken right off the bone. There's a thin layer of chocolate on top of the pretzel, and it's stuffed Ray Ray. into the vanilla ice here? cream, which is then layered with the cornflakes and caramel. Cornflakes? The inside's very similar to pretzel M&M's. That's that the best good. thing you'll smell today. Most unique try that. ice cream I've ever had. Not fried chicken ice cream. And it's award-winning waffle. But not for 115 freaking dollars. What the hell, man? 115 dollars? When a news channel is going to shout out my favorite sin for her sitting in. <laughs> oh, interesting. Damn, man. C63, dude. 63. Ray Ray, thank you for sharing, brother. And that is it. That is it, guys. Oh, nice, nice. Yep, that is it. All right, guys. It's 11.30. Two and a half hours here in the live vibe. You guys. Hold on, hold on. Amya, Amya, Dark Hill, they grow fast. And our Aubrey is the sweetest, but she's the grumpiest, but we love her. <laughs> Lift it up, one love, my brother. One love, man. Absolutely, King. All right, guys, that is it for Live Vibe 75. I wish you all a happy Valentine's Day. I love you all. Thank you for the super chats tonight. Thank you for your involvement. You guys make the Live Vibe a thousand percent better. This has been one of my favorite Valentine's Day ever, just because of you guys. I love you all. If you're single out there, don't let it get you down. Don't let it get you down, bro. We're gonna, you won't be single forever, okay? Think positively, one love. Surround yourself with people you love. That's it. I love you guys with all my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.